So I've got a build today, a uh, Grandmaster build, birthplace of the Vile all around my Warlock and the Void abilities because the birthplace of the Vile GM this week has got Void Burn on it, 25% extra for us and 50% extra for the enemies but the 25% we can take strong advantage of that with nothing manacles and scatter grenades. Scatter grenades cause absolutely carnage. Look at this, yellow numbers everywhere, and this will work exactly the same in the GM. Uh, it's really strong. Not only on top of that, we're going to be spawning an absolute load of elemental wells for us, for our warlocks, and especially for the hunters. I've got a clip on why the void elemental wells in this GM are really, really helpful for your hunters as well. So it's all around using your scatter grenades on the spawns of these enemies they usually spawn left right in the middle and sometimes at the back and because the cost of scorn you know where they're gonna spawn because you wear them and the, you can see like the white mist where they're gonna spawn so as soon as you see that like so you want to be over there getting your scatter grenade on the spawn with a horde on there as well and that spawn is just gone you can do this consistently with the build I've got with a setup with the elemental wells and I will we're running some armor mods to get our grenades back all the time and like I said and I keep saying we're going to spawn a lot of elemental wells and they also help the cause with getting your ability regen back as well so it's a really strong build it's about being proactive killing the enemies on spawn taking advantage of the void burn and your void subclass the void 3.0 some of the aspects of fragments also work perfectly with this build so it's definitely a build I won't try and sell you a video if I thought it was not very good this build is gonna see you good in this GM I absolutely promise you uh, and for me I think the best setup for this is two builds like this two void warlocks and one decent invis hunter and you should be good as long as you're killing these ads on spawn it's very easily controllable you don't let them get on top of you that's the worst thing you can do just keep on them get on top of them spawns you'll see them like I said you'll hear it you'll see it like so get your lasting impression rocket launcher in there and you should be golden now this little formula is something I use on most of my builds to get my grenades back all the time I run bomber uh, reduces your grenade cooldown when you use your class ability I've just popped a couple of examples in here so this little formula uh, I run it on most of my builds when I'm running grenade builds, so just by doing that you're getting about 10% of your grenade back, you can double up on bomber, you always run impact induction as well, causing damage with a melee attack, reduces your grenade cooldown. Again, I've just put a couple of examples in here, but you'll notice that when I throw my melee I get around about 40% 50% of my grenade back. So just with them two things, putting your rift down and hitting someone with a melee, you're going to get about 60-70% of your grenade back, nothing fancy, that's all you have to do. And then my elemental wells, I'm running Reaping Wellmaker. So how that works is every time I cast my Rift, my next weapon kill is going to spawn me Void Elemental Well. It doesn't have to be a Void Weapon as long as you're putting your Rift down and getting a kill with any weapon. It's going to spawn a Void Elemental Well. But what you'll notice there is there's two. And how I'm doing that is I'm running a mod called uh, Bountiful Wells. So that doubles up any time you create an elemental well with any of the mods, it basically doubles it so you're getting two. Even works on elemental ordinance. So elemental ordinance just states that whenever you get a kill with a grenade, that's gonna spawn an elemental well. So that's also gonna spawn me two. It's a void elemental well because I want to avoid subclass. So like so, it's gonna spawn me two instead of one. So all these wells that we're creating, they're gonna help the cause, they give you ability regen back and they help your teammates out massively. And then what you can do is do both things at the same time. Put my rift down, get a weapon kill to spawn two. My grenades also spawn in two. That's a total of four elemental wells. And these are them all working together. Everything that we've just said, the bomber, the impact induction, hitting the melee, putting my rift down, everything working together, causing elemental wells everywhere and you've constantly got a nice supply for your grenades to come back and obviously with nothing manacles you get double scatter grenades so hope this has been helpful i'm going to break the actual full build down next so as always this is the final part of the video now i'm just going to quickly go through my fragments aspects and a few other armor mods that i haven't shown you and why i why i choose to run certain fragments and aspects 
just start with the Nova Bomb itself, the Void Walker. I run Cataclysm. That's the one that's slow. That's like a slower bomb, so it travels slow and white. Any of these are fine. You can run any of these Nova Warp or the Vortex. I just prefer this one, especially for this GM, the Cataclysm, because it travels slower and it's like a big area of effect. And the reason why I like to run the slow, the slower bomb, is because what you'll find is while that Nova Bomb is actually travelling towards the boss or the group of ads, what you can do while it's flying on the way there, you can put a Wither Horde there at the same time and probably a rocket launcher before your Nova Bomb gets there. So if you time it right, you can literally get your Nova Bomb damage, your Wither Horde damage and your Tomorrow's Answer damage all at the same time. It's pretty strong. Uh, these are the aspects of fragments I'm running. I'm running Child of the Old Gods. So cast your Rift to create a Void Soul. You damage a target with a weapon. Your Void Soul flies to them and drains them, doing damage and weakening them. So it's pretty strong still. Uh, really good. Feed, feed the Void. Defeating a target with a Void ability to activate Devour. While Devour is active, final blow, restore health and extend Devour. So Devour is like a decent part to this build as well because that all helps the cause to get your really good grenade recharge rate as you've seen in the clips the fragments i'm running is echo of provision there's a nice little loop with this one so damaging targets with grenades grants melee energy and then obviously on my arms what i showed you earlier causing damage with a melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown so getting damage with my melee attack reduces my grenade cooldown getting getting damage with my grenades grants me melee energy so them two the loop together like a little full circle if you like you get charge rate for your melee and your grenades by running them two mods echo of undermining your void grenades weaken targets that's a really good one that's quite important because obviously you're in gms and you want to be weakening them targets as much as possible uh, I run Echo of Persistence, Void Debuff Supplied to you. In this case, it's Devour, they have an increased duration. And I'm also running Echo of Instability, defeating targets with grenades, grants volatile rounds to our weapons. Uh, always get grenade kills with this build, so you're always going to have your volatile rounds always to your weapons all of the time. Uh, I've touched on most of the mods, so I'm just going to quickly run through them. So you don't have to keep hearing my voice over and over again. Elemental Ordinance. Defeating a combat with a grenade. Spawns an Elemental Well. I'm obviously running Bountiful Wells on there, which you've seen. So that's just going to spawn two Elemental Wells. I'm also running Reaping Wellmaker. Putting your Rift down and then getting a kill is also going to spawn a Void Elemental Well. I also like to run Fontamite, which gives me an extra 25% damage to my Void Weapons whenever you pick up an Elemental Well. That's 10 seconds, but I run Elemental Time Dilation to boost that up to 3 seconds. Elemental Well mods, there sort of increases the benefits and the time of Elemental Well mods. So with this one, it gives you an extra 3 seconds for Elemental Time Dilation. Uh, the rest of the mods, uh, as you've seen, Bomber. Overload grenades in this gem is helpful because there's a lot of overload grenades, uh, overload champs, sorry, so you're always going to have one of them at hand if you need to. A uh, quick sort of thing to mention is void resistance chest pieces. I, I was going to say important, but I don't think it's that important. But if you've got one, it helps. I don't think it really helps because it's 50% damage extra there, do to you, which is void burn, but I just put it on anyway just in case. Not sure if it really helps that much. You still get one shot by them snipers quite often, so it's pretty pointless in my book, but might as well bang it on if you've got a void chest piece. Uh, and then the other sort of thing that I wanted to sort of touch on with uh, with all the elemental wells that were created, why it was helpful for hunters, is what you can ask your hunters to do, or your hunt how many hunter you're playing with. So if they run this mod here, well of utility picking up a void elemental grants you class ability energy multiple copies of this mod increase the effect so every time they pick these void elemental wells up they are creating we're creating like two to four like easily that's going to give them most of their class ability back while they're running over and sometimes getting their class ability back so they can dodge and glue is it's an absolute life lifesaver i'll put a quick clip in at the end of it working on the hunter i hope the build build's been good take it easy